Hello and welcome to the series on Microsoft Power Apps. In this video, we'll be looking at the Power Apps search function and we will be extending our application by adding a search box to search for employees based on name and surname. So before we get started, let's go over to uh, the Microsoft documentation. And if you search for search, it will take you to the page displaying filter, search and lookup function. You can read more on the information about the, the three functions. In this video, we'll be focusing on the search function. And in the next video, we'll be looking at the filter function. So let's have a look at the syntax for the search uh, function. So the first criteria is uh, the table. So this is our data source. In our case, this is our employees uh, table or employees uh, SharePoint site. And uh, the second criteria that you need is your search string. So the search string in our case will be coming from our text input box that we're gonna be adding to our, our top bar. And then we have our columns that we have in our data source. So in our case, our columns in SharePoint. So the first column is gonna be the employee name. Second column is gonna be the employee surname. You could add multiple columns, but I will just be using the employee name and surname. If we have a look at our SharePoint site, you can see over here, we have columns for, for name and surname. So these two columns will be the ones that we will be searching on. You could add email address, department and position, but I think for, for testing purposes, we'll just be adding the name and surname. So let's go back to our application. And the first thing that we need to do is click on insert menu, go to the input dropdown field and select text input and this would add a text input field to our application. We will position that in our top menu bar and we will rename this uh, text input to employee search. You can call it whatever you want, but I'd recommend giving it a, a descriptive name. And uh, if we have a look at the properties for this text input, you can see the default is set to text input this can also be searched from Property Explorer, but I will remove the default value because I want that to be blank. And I will go to the hint text and let's enter here, search by name or surname. So if we click on outside of there, you can see over here, it says search by name and surname. If you press Alt and you actually go into the search field, you can see it removes the, the search field. But if we go out, the description comes back. So what I also want to do is add an icon. So if you click under insert a menu and go to icon, you can see we already have a search icon here. And if we add that to our application and we position it on our screen where we want it, uh, you can see um, we have our icon there now. So I'll click on our icon again. And if we go to the property explorer and we go to um, color, we can remove the RGBA value and we can add in here template header bar icon. And you can see it's already entered into our suggestion over here. And if we select it, it changes the value to uh, white. So play around with the position, maybe resize the icon or put it on the, the left-hand side, it's up to you. Um, what we need to do now, we need to select our employees uh, gallery. And you can see by default or not by default, we entered that previously, it has our data source. So this is the employee's data source. So if you remove that, you can see it remove all, remove all of the information for our employees. If you click on the, the gallery, it gives you an option to connect to a different data source or to the existing one that we've added to our application. So um, like I said previously, I'm using SharePoint. So um, our data source will be uh, employees. So we need to remove the employees data source from the items and we need to enter search, open close brackets. And in between the open and close brackets, we need to add employees. This is our data source. Then we need to add uh, the name of the text input. So uh, this is the text input. This is the string that we're gonna be searching on. So let's type uh, employee search. Uh, 
and we need to type comma and now we will be entering the columns from our SharePoint site so this will be the name field and you can see we can select it there and we can also say comma and we can enter surname and this will come from the drop down if we wanted to also add department for example we could also add department but i'll be adding a filter over here and this will be used for department so we can remove that and we will be searching on um, name and surname you can see we've got an error over there you need to get the value of the uh, of the text that's been entered in there so we need to say employee search dot text and that will fix that error so the entire syntax for this uh, search field or search function is search open close brackets and in between the open and close brackets we've got our employees employees search dot text and then we've got the name column from SharePoint and the surname column also coming from SharePoint. So this has added the search functionality to our application. So to run our application, you can click on the play button or press F5 and this will display our application. If we scroll down, we can see all of our employees are displayed from our database. If we enter an employee's name, so um, for instance, Ian, you can see it displays his information. It also displays it on the, the um, expression. So if I just type I, it will display all, P all employees with a name or a surname starting with I. So I want to enter Ian and it will display his information. Let's remove that and type Morrison. And you can see over here, it displays our employees with the surname of Morrison or any similar match to that uh, text that we've entered in there. If we remove it, it displays all of our employees. Let's close that and this will bring this section of the uh, video to a close. And in the next video, we will be looking at a uh, filter to filter based on department. So if you select the department, it will show all of those employees from that particular uh, department. So we will be looking at that next and let me know what you think in the comments and I will see you in the next video.